In this episode of my Chevy Astro Adventure Van Build Series, I'll be installing my Media Center and Workstation. So today I'm going to install this 27-inch monitor and start building out my Media Center. I've just installed this swivel arm and I'm going to be mounting my monitor to this. And when I was building out the shelves, I put a 2x4 behind this because I knew I was going to mount the, the swivel arm here. So uh, this whole wall here is very, very solid. And I drilled a hole here to route the HDMI and power cable for the monitor so I can route it down this cubby hole and down to the outlets that are down below. Next, I need to mount the monitor to this frame. That means I need to take this thing off so I can screw this to the monitor itself. And I'll explain what this is for in just a moment. Next, I'll mount the monitor to the arm, and then this little attachment here just slides into this groove. And there it is, it's on the swivel arm, and man, that works great. How cool is that? Okay, back to the yellow string here. The problem we're gonna have with this monitor is that being that it's in a van, you have to strap this down somehow while the van is moving. So what I've come up with is these ratchet straps that I've been using well, throughout the van build, really. They've got a carabiner on both sides and then this piece, you just pull on it to uh, draw it in and then you can quickly release it. So I'll just clip this one in here. And then I've got these carabiners here, and what I did was I just put a screw eye in here, and I've got a couple other carabiners here for pretty much the same purpose, just for other items. And this one here I'll just lock into place, and then I just uh, tighten this thing up. Just pull it in a little bit, tighten it up, and yeah, that's going to hold it in place. So that's been working pretty well for me, and then whenever I want to use the monitor, I just take the tension off, take this off, and then I swing the monitor out. So a pretty easy system. And this is a Gigabyte G27F is the model. And one of the reasons I bought this monitor specifically and especially over TV monitors is just for the fact that uh, this thing runs on DC power. So I can plug this right into my 12 volt sockets. I don't need any inverter or anything like that. And then here's my HDMI cable. This will run to my media center that will hook up here in the next step. And for now, that's it. The monitor's hooked up. Today we're going to be installing this. It's an Android TV box. This thing's like a little mini computer. It runs Android. It allows me to hook up things like USB flash drive or even an external hard drive. And this way I can play movies, shows, whatever I want. When I don't have internet, don't have to worry about internet connection or streaming or anything. They're just on my drive. And I'm going to mount my Android TV box up here on the ceiling. And that's because my wires coming off the TV are going to be routed up here. And this is kind of out of the way. And what I've done is built this plate that mounts up into the ceiling. And then it's got two screws here with a piece of shock cord. And then this uh, little hanger here. So I'll just connect my cables. And then I just mount it like this. And I don't know if this is a vent or what, it's kind of like perforated here. And I left it open and facing down, that way it can dissipate heat if that's what it even does. I don't think there's a fan inside. And because I've mounted the unit facing up, the display will also read facing up for me as well. And I've also got this four terabyte external hard drive. What I want to do is mount this somewhere right here and then have this connected to the Android TV box. This will house all my shows because this has only got like maybe 64 gigs built in. So I want a little bit more than that. I've got four terabytes here. So I need to figure out a way to mount this drive right here. And to mount the drive, what I've come up with is I've got the carrying case that came with the portable hard drive. So I'll just flip the top open like this. And then I cut this piece of wood that I'll mount here. And then the pocket just slides into place. So it'll kind of sit on this. 
The other thing I've done is I've got a second piece of wood that I'll attach here. This will give me a little bit of space to bring it out from the wall. Drilled a little hole through the back side of this. Mount this you know, somewhere right about here. So I've got a extra piece of neoprene here, and what I'm going to do is just slide that in as a kind of like a backer, and that way protect the back side of my hard drive against those screws. And now I can just slide it into place hard drive in place. I'll just make my connection. Ah, there we go. We're in. So now this comes preloaded with Cody, which they call K KDMC, I guess here. It's like same things Cody. And this is like the main media player that I'm using here. And got my movies, Van Media. Yeah, and here you go. Let's watch Grandma's Boy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And the great thing is, is that this uh, hard drive is powered by the you know the power that's already being supplied here to the Android TV box So I don't need to run any kind of external power to this this drive, which is really great And as far as power consumption goes um, I was trying to eliminate the laptop from the setup here So I want I was kind of concerned, you know, how much power would this draw would it be a savings for me to just eliminate the laptop altogether? So uh, Let's take a look at how much power that draws. I'm gonna turn off the lights here and I will turn off this monitor. So now we just have the Android TV box and my hard drive running. Yeah, and that's what we're drawing right now, like 0.3 amps. So the power consumption is very, very minimal for this. You know, playing movies and running this hard drive, only, only a third of an amp. Uh, just for, for reference, that's the same as one of these lights. One of these lights is 0.3 amps as well. So media center that's running on 0.3 amps very very happy with that so this red thing here behind me is my cell phone signal booster it's made by a company called we boost and i was pretty skeptical about these things before i bought it uh, but after using it for a couple of months i can say it really does seem to work i've noticed that it is able to boost my cell phone signal from one bar to say two or three bars so for anyone working from their van uh, this is pretty much an essential component to just having uh, some sort of wouldn't say reliable, but you know, workable internet signal uh, when you at least have something to boost because it has to have a signal to boost. Uh, it doesn't take zero and turn it into something, uh, but it does turn something and turning it into something more. Uh, so let me show you a little bit about how I installed the thing and just how it works. And this is the WeBoost signal booster here. I've mounted it in this little cubby hole, kind of out of the way. And you'll notice you've got three wires coming off of it. One is for power, and one is for the exterior antenna, and one's for the interior antenna. And you'll notice this uh, somewhat elaborate mounting system here. This thing really came with no actual way to, to mount it. There's no like screw holes or anything on the side and just drill it into something. It's actually meant to just sit on the ground below uh, your front driver's seat or something like that. But uh, I didn't want to do that. So I built uh, basically a little block of wood here and a block of wood here to kind of like keep it in place. And then I had to drill out this goofy looking hole here because uh, I wanted to put the the force that's going to mount the thing in place uh, right in the middle and not off to the side. And that blocks the little uh, signal here. So when I turn this thing on, there's my signal. So that's the reason why I put this cut out here, just so I could see that uh, while having the thing mounted. So when you turn it on for a second, it kind of cycles between red and green. And then when it gets its signal, uh, once it's able to actually boost it, it just turns solid green. And the way this unit works, it's got an exterior antenna, and the exterior antenna sends the signal to this unit, which is basically an amplifier. 
and then it sends it through another cable to this interior antenna. It's a pretty central spot to the van. There's really nothing blocking it, so it should send uh, the amplified signal throughout the van. As far as mounting the exterior antenna, WeBoost says it's okay to just kind of route the antenna cable uh, basically under your weather stripping like this. So I put a little tape here, a little duct tape to just sort of protect it and then keep it in place here as it's, you know, basically just sits outside here exposed to the elements. So it doesn't, re <laughs> doesn't really seem like a lo good long-term kind of mounting solution, but this is exactly what they recommend to do. And then I've run the cable on top of the van to this exterior antenna here. Now this has just got a big magnet on it, so I can put this anywhere I want. And I've just chosen to mount mine here because it's out of the way and good a place as any. In addition to the media center, I wanted my van to kind of function as a workstation as well. So what I've done is I've built this, this board here and I can put my laptop on this as well as a mouse and an external hard drive. So everything I need is just on one flat surface. And I could just put this on my lap and have essentially a flat little desk right on my lap to work from. And all I've done with this board is taken this rubberized matting and glued it down onto the top of the board. And that will prevent my laptop and mouse and everything I've got set on the board from falling off when it's angled down like this. Just gives it a little bit of grip. Next, let me show you how I actually use the workstation. So I'll turn this on. This is for my computer monitor and I'll unplug this because this is for my Android TV box for the media center. And here you can kind of see the workstation in action. This works really well just having this right on my lap here. And I'll do my uh, photo editing from here, video editing. So when I'm not actually out hiking and rock counting and doing all the stuff I really like doing, the other half of it is in here uh, editing and doing content creation. And having this workstation set up allows me to do everything that I do at home right here in the van. And of course, having the monitor is not really necessary for you know, photo or video editing. I can do all that right on my laptop, uh, but it is really nice having another larger screen that's up in front so you don't have to be hunched over all day. And it really does make a difference if you're in this van for a full day's work, you know, eight or 10 or 12 hours. I mean, when you're hunched over like that, it really does do a number on your neck. So to be able to look up and just have a proper workstation uh, really means a lot. So I've got the monitor mounted, the media center installed, the workstation is complete. I think at this point I can say I'm done building this van and it's time for me to hit the road. So I want to thank you all for watching. I hope I've earned your subscription along the way and stay tuned for my full van build video coming soon.